This holographic stuff has definitely been trending lately and honestly I am so obsessed, it is all over my Pinterest. So I am back today with another iridescent holographic tutorial. This time we are going to make it sparkle and we are going to make a text. I'm labeling this intermediate, I am moving fast paced and there is one teeny expression. But I'm going to press Control Y to create a new layer and I'm going to name it. Then I'm going to come over to effects and presets and I'm going to type in fractal noise and put it onto your layer. So this is the basic setup that you are going to see when you drop this onto your layer. We are going to tweak some settings on here. And this is the setup that you should have. Moving forward, you want to go to effects and presets, add a tint and drop that onto your layer. And you can just change your colors. Don't get too pulled up on these colors. You are going to play a lot with them in a minute. Right, next we are going to create this look. Come over to effects and presets and type in liquify and drag this liquify tool on. Bring your playhead rack back to the beginning and uh, switch on these stopwatches. And you're going to come into these warp tool options. I like the brush size to be about 90 and the pressure sure to be 80. You can play with these settings. I'm going to use this tool. Double click on your little thing so it opens up in a new window and you can just start dragging to morph this layer. If your computer is anything like mine and that is completely slow then don't be afraid to change this to maybe half or even a third um, just while you're using this layer. The key here is to just do everything on the first keyframe first, as much movement as you want, and then go to the end and add more movement. Once you have your liquify set up, you can click on your layer and press Ctrl D to duplicate it. And then we are gonna start changing a few of the settings in the fractal layers. So after I have changed the settings, I'll just show you quickly what I've got. One, two, three. And you can see on each layer, I've changed the color of the tint. This is what's gonna start producing these crazy effects. And then all you need to do is come into mode and change this to pin light. And I've done that on the top two layers. Uh, make these three layers out of sync. So you can see I've just dragged this along. Same with this one. You know, you can go forward or back. So the movement's going to be a little off and there's just some overlap and the lighting is just creating this look. Right, next we are going to add these stars. So to do this, press Ctrl Y again to create a new solid. Make sure that it is white. Go over to effects and presets and type in the CC star and grab the CC starburst and drop it onto your layer. So this is what you'll have immediately. I'm going to change the settings slightly. The settings I've got, I've made it almost invisible. So just for now and to take it easier on my computer, I will switch them off. So changing the size will make it nice and small like that. And next I'm just going to go to effects and presets and add a glow, drop it onto our layer. I kind of want to give my stars a little bit of a flicker. So I'm going to come into this layer, come right back to the beginning and change the intensity. So I'm going to take it up to 50. I'm going to come up to about 1.5. I'm going to take it up to 100. Forward again, zero. And then about back to 50. So now we've got a little bit of a flicker when I press play. But you can see it flicks kind of quickly. So I'm just going to select all of these keyframes, press F9, and come into the graph editor and just change this slightly. I'm just going to bring this out. When it gets to this point, it just stops animating and I want it to keep going. So to fix this, I'm going to come over to this glow intensity. I'm going to hold down alt on the stopwatch and in this box, I'm going to type loop out case sensitive and that's going to loop it all the way through. Then I want to uh, make it look not so perfect and round. So I'm going to go to effects and presets and type in turbulent displace and just drop it on. I'm not even going to change any of the settings. I'm going to rename this to stars one, press control D and duplicate it. Then I'm going to go into these settings and change a few things. So you can see it looks a little bit different now and I have just literally just gone in and changed a few of these numbers and then I have just gone and duplicated the glow to make it even brighter than it was. I'm going to go ahead and press U on these to compare the keyframes. On this layer you can see it goes from 100 to 0 to 100 and the timing's slightly different. So that's just made it a little bit random. Right, so once you've got all of that, you should have something that looks like this. Then you just select everything, right click and pre-compose. Name it and don't forget to move all attributes. Then to turn this into text, just go up here, grab your text tool, type out whatever you want. I'm just going to align it like this. And then I'm going to come down here. I always like to drag it underneath just so it makes sense to me, but you don't actually have to do that. Then just come over to this track mat and change this to the text layer. And that's going to use the text to cut out the shape. 
So here is another example. I have just gone ahead and deleted fractal layer number three and I've just gone inside and just changed the tint color slightly. And here's just one more example, which I am gonna use in the thumbnail. So I thought I would just chuck in how I made this. I did this by just putting the alternative color on the top and using that as the track mat. And then underneath I've got another text layer, which is visible. Uh, but it has just got a layer style on it to create that shadow and it's separating it from the background. If this video was helpful for you, giving it a like will be much appreciated. And if you want to see a slightly different setup for this effect, you can watch this video right here. I'll see you in the next one. Bye!